Hey guys, hope you well. So in this lesson, we're gonna talk about two-way tables. They are so easy, really, really nice. Let's get started immediately. So here we have the table represents the learners and the sport that they prefer. Okay, so we've got males and females, hockey, cricket, easy as that. Now, check how nice this is. You can do this in multiple ways, but for example, um, if we look down here, okay, it says that for the hockey people, there is a total of 70 hockey players, okay? We can already see that there are 40 male hockey players. So then what would this number have to be? Well, this would have to be 30. So that 40 male hockey players, 30 females, would mean there's a total of 70 hockey players. Okay, now some more things we can do. If you look at the males, if you go this way, there's 40 who play hockey, 30 who play cricket, so that means the total would be 70 males. Okay, you see how we're going that way, and then we go that way. Let's see what else we can fill in. Ah, okay. Can you see here that there are, um, okay, they say that for the females, there is a total of 30 people. So that means there must be zero people who play, zero females who play cricket, so that this row can add up to 30. Now, if we go this way, we can see for cricket, if we go down, there's 30 people altogether. 30 plus 0 is 30 people. Now, if we go this way, we or we can go this way, it doesn't really matter. If you go this way, it says 70 plus 30, so the total there would be 100. And if you go this way, 70 plus 30, the total there would have to be 100. So... We're going to do another example after this where we'll fill it all in, but let's go do some questions now. This question says, determine the probability someone prefers hockey. Okay, so there's 100 people in total. That's what you need to understand. There's 100 people, okay? So out of the 100, how many prefers hockey? Doesn't matter if they're male or female. So we just go to the hockey over here, and you can see that the hockey total is 70. So 70, if you type that on the calculator, it'll be 7 out of 10. For this question, a person is chosen randomly. Determine the probability that a person will be a female who loves cricket. Okay, so um, it's a female, so we go female, and they love cricket. So where those two intersect, ah, it's this part here, it's zero. So we're just gonna say zero out of 100 people, and that's gonna give you zero. Now the next question is very important that you understand this. It says, a male is chosen. Ah, so we're only looking at the males. So look here, we're only looking at the males for this question. It says, but because you might think that the previous question was only looking at females. No, no, no. What they said was determine the probability that a person will be a female who prefers cricket. In this question, they say a male is chosen. So that means we're only looking at the males. What is the probability that he, and a lot of you would get this wrong at first, okay? But look carefully. What is the probability that he prefers hockey? So, there are not 100 people that we are looking at now. There are only 70 people because there are only 70 males. So, we're going to say 70 like that. And then, out of those 70 people, they said, what is the probability that he prefers hockey? Well, that's 40. So, you're going to say 40 out of 70. If you simplify that, that'll be 4 out of 7. Okay, let's do another example. So your first step is just to complete the table. So you could do this in many, many ways. Um, you could look at all of the males, and you could see that the total for the males is 40. So that means this number would have to be a 20, so that there's 20 plus 20 is 40. Oh, let's talk about this first. Maths literacy, pure maths, and then male and female. Okay, those are the different categories. Now if you look this way, the total is supposed to add up to 60. So that means this would have to be 40 because 20 plus 40 is 60. Now, if you, for example, go this way, we know that the total must add up to 45. So we will put 25 over there because 20 plus 25 must give you 45. Now, there's different ways. You could go this way now. So the 60 plus the 45 must give us a total of 105. Um, what is 40 plus 25? Well, that would give you 65. And if you then check 
if you add these two numbers together to find out the total going that way, it is also 105. So everything works out, okay? So you might just have to pause and think about how we got this table completed. Um, but once you get it, you'll see it's very, very easy. The first question says, determine the probability that someone does maths lit. Now, they're not saying that the person must be a male or a female. No, they're just saying that a person does maths lit. So out of the 105 people that we have, the maths literacy people are over here. And so you find their total, which is 60. So you say 60 out of 105. If that simplifies, that'll simplify to 4 out of 7. Okay, now going on to question C, a person is chosen randomly. Let's just take all this other stuff out so long. Uh, determine the probability that the person will be a female who does pure maths. Okay, so female, go down, and uh, pure maths, go to the right. And where they intersect, that's where we're looking at. So it's all the females that do pure maths, which is the 25. So you're going to say 25 out of the total, which is 105. If you type that on the calculator, it all simplifies to 5 out of 21. So 5 out of 21. Okay, and our last question says, a female is chosen at random. Okay, so this is one of those questions where they're only looking at the females. So you're only looking there. So how many females are there? 65. So you're only looking out of those 65 people. What is the probability that she does pure maths? Okay, so pure maths for that one is 25. But you see now we're dividing by 65 because they only said that it's a female. They walked into the room and they said, okay, we're only going to look at the females. So out of that, there are 65 people. I hope you understand the difference between question D and question C. Question C, they just said a person is chosen. It could have been a male, but it just, whoops, what happened there? But it just happened to be a female. But they didn't say it has to be a female. With this question, it has to be a female. And out of those females, then they're asking the question. Okay, now if you had to go type this on the calculator, you end up with uh, 5 out of 13. 5 out of 13.